Imagine a home where all those boring household chores will be done without us even being there. Everything organised by remote control and carried out by domestic appliances which think for themselves. Sound like heaven? Well, it could be the reality for all of us in the next millennium. Our special reporter, Rachel Ellison, concludes her three-part series on life in the 21st century by looking at the house of the future. This is the integer house. Integer stands for intelligent and green. This house is packed full of energy-saving devices. There's the cooker that can't burn. There are blinds which know when to go up and down according to the weather. And there's a bath that runs itself to a temperature of your choice. These are the kind of gadgets we could all soon have in our kitchens, like the dishwasher, for example, that uses 80% less water than washing up by hand. It also knows how to switch itself on when the electricity is at the cheap rate. Right, we've got the oven with the I'm late feature. Bring it up on your mobile phone and tell it when there's leaves on the line and the train's been cancelled or when you're stuck in a traffic jam. So it knows when not to cook and then you've got Absolutely. these pots that know not to burn, haven't you? Yes, we just set the temperature we want in the pot and not the heat underneath it. So if you set the temperature for 90, that's fine. The phone goes, somebody comes to the door, it won't boil over. At £135,000, the four-bedroom integer house isn't exclusive to the rich and famous. So far, three have been built and another 50 are on the way. But you don't have to own a house like this one to tap into the future. Come the new millennium, we'll be able to run our lives and our homes from virtually anywhere. Lines up, lines down. At IBM's Future Innovations Lab in Winchester, technicians are testing new car dashboard technology, which not only lets you phone home to turn off the iron or adjust the heating, but also enables your home to contact you. Life gets simpler. Your home, your mobile phone, your car can all be interconnected. So that, for instance, maybe there's been a flood at home. The first thing you will know is you will receive a message on your mobile phone telling you there's a situation back home that you need to deal with. Whether you're down the road or on the other side of the world, new technology will mean you can run your home even while you're out. The future of technology is wireless. We'll have scanners and sensors connected up to the internet so the gas man won't actually have to come round to read the meter, whilst the supermarket will have sent round the food because your fridge has been monitoring what you've been eating and your dustbin knows what you've thrown away. In the next couple of decades or less, we may not even need to go home, since our homes, it seems, will be perfectly capable of running themselves. Rachel Ellison, BBC News, Winchester. James Dyson, the inventor who developed the Bagler's vacuum cleaner, is here with me. Give us a bit more of a glimpse of what the house of the future is going to be like. Well, of course, we'll have robotic vacuum cleaners, so you don't have to spend an hour and a half to three hours a week vacuuming your home. It'll be done automatically. Um, washing machines, I think, for example, as you put the clothes in, they'll tell what you're putting in and automatically adjust the program. So you'll be able to, well, you could undress in front of the washing machine and it would say, nice body, but as you put in your woolens, <laughs> you know, it wouldn't do the, the cotton wash for woolens. It so would sort them out a, for you. It would sort them out for you and, and, and with a little electronic camera, because cameras are getting smaller and smaller and cheaper and cheaper. Hmm. We'll have those everywhere seeing what we're doing and checking we're not doing anything wrong. Now, I think labour-saving devices can be very complicated. Is this really going to be simpler, quicker and easier? Yes, I think that's one of the big mistakes of new technology. As it's come in, it's tended to make our lives more complicated. We have to read all these dreadful instruction manuals. And each manufacturer... Impossible. Impossi impossible. impossible. And each manufacturer uses a different language, a different vernacular to describe their keypad that you have to enter things on. So I think all that will go. Voice recognition um, is almost here, certainly within the next 10 years. So that, um, you know, when you approach the cooker, you can say, oh, I want to do a pheasant today. And the, co the cooker will say, um, well, you know, what type of, do you want Delia Smith or Elizabeth David? And so you can, you can choose the, the menu and it'll, it'll tell you what to do. Very briefly, how soon do you think this will happen for the average household? Our robotics um, are here now, I mean, next year, and increasingly over the next five years. And I think voice recognition on everything within the next 10 years. Amazing. James Dyson, thank you.